can you articulate what Sopranos has done for you? Um, it's done so. It's done a million things. Most of them good. Um, you know, the fact that uh, I'm recognized uh, a lot. I am given opportunities now. Like the fact that I was asked about, you know, the opportunity to do this play would not have happened if Sopranos didn't exist. Um, you know, scripts get sent to me uh, rather than uh, having to audition for them. I mean, things like that. In this industry, it's placed me You're at a different level. You're part of the consciousness level. of people that make decisions. Now. Yes, exactly. Uh, and that's all very good stuff. I mean, the other side of that is they, they think of me in terms of an Italian mother, you know, oftentimes. So it's a matter of sort of steering the ship a little bit away from, like, yes, I'm an actress, yeah. and hopefully I can do lots of other stuff, too. Think so. of me as a waitress. or Yes, for instance, <laughs> you know. But, uh, I mean, great things, mostly great things. Some so of them are a little scary. Mostly, but, what's well, I mean, I, I don't know that I was cut out to be well-known, you know, or to be recognized. What's it's, bad about that? Um, I don't know, I'm a very private person, and sometimes I'm in my own world, or I'm walking down the street, and I'm talking to myself or something, <laughs> and people <laughs> stop me, and it's a little jarring. Yeah. Did I just say that? Yeah. It's so, funny, because uh, you walk down the street, and people pass you, and then you, as you, they pass you, you hear them saying, Carmela. Yeah, oh, yeah, Sopranos. always, that's right, yeah. always. Or just saying to them, wasn't that her? You know, the whispering right, and stuff right, that right. I'm hypersensitively aware of so yeah, but that's a small price it seems to me uh, it's getting smaller because it's not I'm not letting it throw me as much but in the beginning it really it was kind of jarring yeah. don't worry about it she's been punished oh three weeks without a credit card oh my god that that's some heavy shit there <laughs> Janice you know if that was my child you, know what? Fuck this. you got a lot of fucking balls you know that there's a lot I could say right now that I am not gonna say a lot of balls Temper tantrums. He hasn't changed one iota since we lived in Newark. Not one iota. You are passing judgment on him, Janice, on us as parents. I told you once already, how we discipline our children is none of anybody's business. You let that girl ride roughshod over you, someday you're gonna regret it. Mother of God, Janice. Are all of you Sopranos the same? I asked you nicely to stay out of it. You're pretending you don't hear me. Well, maybe you're gonna hear this. Mind your fucking business. Keep your mouth shut when it comes to my kids. All right? Maybe I've stayed here too long.